everyone, I'm Rachel, and in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create ultra fuzzy fur using the Color Therapy app. If you'd like to follow along, search for this image under shoe. This tutorial can be used to create either long or short fuzz, and you can also use any color you'd like. Okay, so to create anything really super fuzzy, what you want to do is first color in the background because you want the fuzzy part to be the very last layer. So I've already colored it and shaded in the legs and the feet and the shoes. And I want to do some fuzzy black fur. So I'll just start off by tapping to fill it in with my base color. So I'll use black. All right, now let's go over to the airbrush tool to start to add in our details. I'm going to set the size at 25 to start an opacity at 40. And let's make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off. Using black, I'm going to add some fuzz, just light fuzz all the way around the subject. So I'm just making some layers, just kind of fading it out so we don't have too many thick chunky bits of fur now you can leave some if you like but i'm gonna just try to just make it look fuzzy on the outside so just do a nice thick layer just a soft layer around it now let's go over to the thin fur brush tool we'll do size 35 and opacity at 100 and i'm still using black and i'm just gonna go ahead and add some nice bits of fur just sticking out going all around that fur or whatever object you're making fuzzy go in all directions coming outward from the middle of that object and if you want you can make it long or you can make it short I'm making mine kind of long and I'm just doing layers coming outward and they can also go I'm gonna zoom in a little bit those layers can kind of curve or turn too if you want if you look really close, the Thin Fur tool even has some grays in there, if, even if you're using black. So it starts to add a little dimension. That's why you want to add it all throughout the fur. And I'm just doing short little strokes. So you could stop there and just be done because it already looks really cool. But we can also push it further. Okay, so back in the basic palette, I'm using the second to last color, which is like a gray. And I'm going in and I'm adding more layers. And I'll zoom in. You can see there's actually dimension coming in here now and I'm just sort of working from the outside edges inside you can go in different directions to make it shorter long as you'd like so that's gonna give it some depth and I'm like I like to go in a radial pattern so it gives the object more dimension now let's use the smear tool to blend it a little bit I'm setting the intensity at 100 and the size can be between 1 and 25 just depending on your desired look so I'm going to just go size 20 and now I'm just using my finger to just softly blur little areas of the fuzz okay and you don't have to do all of it you can leave some areas that are not blurry or you can do all of it it's up to you and you can also use your finger to push down the fur from the outside in just be careful with your edges and whatever else you're blending behind it so just a little just a tiny bit of, of blending just to smooth out the fur and then you can also just lower the size all the way down if you want and just do more little detailed blur edges and areas if you want to add some sparkles just for fun you can go to the fairy dust tool and i'll do the size at one and opacity at 100 using white and you can just swipe across to spread those dots out now let's add some more texture on top of those sparkles so let's go over to the hair tool to size 40 and opacity 35. Using black, I'm just adding some more texture back in, kind of just covering up the glitter that I added. And now lastly with the pen tool, let's refine it. So set the size at one and opacity at 80. And then with black, you can just add a few little bits of fur coming out here and there manually. So this, the pen tool is just like the final layer of adding in your own fuzz and fur. So I'm mostly doing this on the edges, but you can also do a little inside too. And then finally, you can do the smear tool one more time if you'd like and just continue to blend. That's really, it's really as simple as that. You can apply this fuzzy look to animals or fashion. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.